Hey there, Su hey there, Suyoi, I'm everybody. <laughs> and there's Edo, over here. Where? <laughs> so anyways, I think I found a missing Pokemon. By the way, that's a pretty badass Charizard pick. Oh yeah. Yeah, total deviant art quality right there. I wonder who they got to do that. Like it. So you hear it, right? I think you're gonna have to go upstairs. Oh. Is it that? Motherfucker! Try talking to him. Come on, Del Temple. It's time to head home. Huh. I really thought that attack was there. Well. Hey, is that a hidden alleyway? It does seem so, Ada. Whoa, I can't believe we fit in here. A pair of black glasses. It can boost dark type moves. Oh. And here I saw it. I was thinking, like, yeah, we could just find accessories out here. Even if there's no point to having a chin wag, it's still great to hear the voice of someone you like. What? I think a chin wag is another way of saying talking. Because your chin goes up and down when you talk. Basically saying there's no point in talking, but that, you know, sometimes it's nice to hear from someone you like. Okay. But yeah, at this point, I can only just evolve, uh, suggest that I go up to every body of water and whistle. I don't look it up. You know, I don't want works. But I'm curious as to, like, uh, what that house is about. This one? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I haven't been in there. I have not been in there, indeed. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I haven't been in this building. Better walk in. No, I'm just like, you know, this guy shows up and says, Good day to you. And I'm like, Get out of my way! Oh, the things I would do to you. Cobb is the flaming star that crashed into the gather region from the distant land of Hoenn. Hmm. Whoa! Wait. Welcome to the uniform shop. Looking for anything in particular? Oh, we could straight up buy custom uniform? Oh. We could even be, like, uh, representing our type? Oh, shoot! I'm impressed! Look at this poison one. It's all goopy. This flying one's all sky themed. Look at this ground one's camo. Electric. Well, what else would, uh, you know, ground be? Is Psychic's kind of psychedelic? Yeah. I guess I see what they're going for, but I would have given it, like, a star pattern. Well, it Go with, like, a galaxy, you know, look. It kinda, Stars, man. It reminds me of the old 2D times when, uh, when the, like, confusion in sight, when Psychic's thing would make the whole screen be like... Ah, yes, uh, flash the weird colors. Yeah. With a attack that we were unable to perceive. Yeah. There's no grass type. Or water type. Wait, how many uniforms are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay, so it's not just gym leader specific. Okay. But not all types have representations. Yet. Mm -hmm. Maybe there'll be one in another place. Kabu has a great uniform number. The 187 looks so cool. Can you just choose your uniform number in sports? I don't know. Hey, lady, were you here a second ago? Set last. Gym leaders of Galar are divided into the major and minor divisions based on how strong they are. There's major gym leaders and minor gym leaders? Wouldn't you love to just be categorized as, like, the shittiest gym leader? At least with the whole, like, thing in Pokemon Origins with Brock, they're like, hey, you know... He, he puts on certain amounts of Pokemon because you're, you're weak as shit, so... Yeah, you're at just... You're at this uh, badge level. Well, so, fight you appropriately. Nice lady. What'd she say? She said she cleans around town for community service, and that everyone in Galar help, looks out for each other. Only in Pokemon. Well, I mean, not necessarily. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I, I know, uh... We actually have a government... A Did you know that we have a government access channel? We do? Yeah, for our city. Even though our city's kind of a small city. Like... What? What number? Uh, like channel 37 or channel 29, something like that. 
huh. some random number. Uh, I've watched it a few times. It's basically like there are programs on it on occasion. Like I've seen the mayor on there, I believe. Wait, is that Bill? Is that a blue Bill cipher? What? Where? Right there. Like I see a blue triangle with a big eye. Oh, okay. It's just flowy. That was terrifying, and also the thing on top of it kind of looks like a top hat. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna like, shit I was, my I was pants. Like, is that Bill cipher back there? But this is a different universe, so it's a different universe version of Bill. So, yeah, on that uh, thing, they actually show, like, uh, community things going on in the city. Mm. And, uh, did you know we have community gardens? No. Yeah, where people grow vegetables and stuff. I think uh, my granddad told me there's, like, two or three. I was like, I had no freaking clue. Huh. Do they do the cool Irish thing? Uh, you mean grow only potatoes? No, to where like uh, any of the fruit and stuff that falls off of trees, they're collected in bags and like uh, hung up outside of like fences and stuff. So that anybody walking by that's hungry for fruit can just take them, not let the food just rot on the ground. Uh, yeah, I would think so. I think it's like given out. Do we do that? I don't know. I think because so. I always thought that was one of the coolest things I ever heard. Feeding the homeless the community gardens? Yeah, pretty much. No, just that, like, you got a fruit tree, but you don't use it. But, like, the city will just give you plastic bags so you can just uh, put the plastic uh, the food into the bags and hang them on the fence. And it's like this, you know, statewide understood thing. If you see, like, a bag of fruit out on the fence, just take it. Yeah. For you, brother. <laughs> Me, brother. Zeta! Oh, hey, it's the new girl. Uh, girl? Uh, the Irish one. Oh, the flower one. Yeah. The Irish flower. Yeah, yeah, you're cute. Yeah, He's I challenging get... you to a spin-off. <gasps> Fucker! Hey! Why don't you look away from me? That's right. Yeah, you run. Hey! I saw that tree taunting me with your big mushroom. Ah! I almost ran into you! Ah! <laughs> I, I kind of find it funny how they run right up to you, but stop just short of actually running into you. Oh, shit! Fuck! <laughs> You saw the opening ceremony, right? You know why I'm excited and want to battle. Ah! <laughs> I look scary. Hey, it's not girlfriend. Like Serena? Nah, it's just you know, this last got so popular with artwork because like you know one of the first gym leaders introduced, and look at that uniform. Like I would love if that was a uniform that you could actually get in the game. You know, represent the Pokemon school you come from. Ape shit, we're in for a uphill battle. Ape shit, this is gonna be a very bad battle. Oh fuck, ape shit! <laughs> oh fuck, ape shit! <laughs> Let me be. Oh shit! Ape uh, fuck! Well, Magikarp can at least tank hits uh, while you heal up. Yeah, okay, uh, Magikarp. <laughs> oh, this is not good! <laughs> Huh. Probably should have collected some points in order to buy that water TM. Water TM? Yeah. Which like, one? Uh, I forget which, but there was like a few water TMs that were like in the shops when we were just kind of goofing around. What, for Magikarp? No, it was just like, uh, well, could maybe for Magikarp, but I was like, uh, for Grookey. What, Grookey can't learn water moves? We don't know that. I. We don't know what these Pokemon can learn. I, over my years of playing Pokemon, I have experienced certain things, and I know that usually certain things with certain typings usually get only certain moves. Unless they're normal type, in which they can learn a wide variety of moves. There are several genderless Pokemon that can learn Attract. Attract is a normal type move. And? So it's different. It's not the same thing. Oh, no, How is my it defense. different? Normal type moves, are they don't conform to the same things that everything else does. Why? Why did I use that? Yeah. Because it's objectively a stronger move. Fuck you! That's a 30% chance to happen! It's like, why didn't you use Scratch? Because Scratch... Because Scratch... Okay, this has a 55 power. Scratch has a 40 power. That 55 gets a reduction to it because you're using a Grass-type move on a Fire-type. I understand that. 
Now, at least with Scratch, it would have been like a pure attack uh, challenge. <laughs> I did a lot less. Yeah. However, it just fucked everything up. And now I win. Go in shit! Go! Do it! Fuck! A critical hit. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! You know there is something I can do here. Yeah? I can I can struggle my way out of this. You have a revive. Oh shit, you're right. Oh shit, you're right. Oh shit, you're right. Don't you do that to me? Huh, now you even have a term to like really heal up, Grookey. Yeah, but if I do that, then fish lips won't get any EXP. Did oh. it not gain any EXP if they're painted? Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna heal fish lips. Out of everything in this game. They still have that as a thing? Pretty sure. Okay, now we're good. Why are you waggling your ass at my female... Wait, are you a male ma Uh... Vulpex? No! I won't judge, but I mean... Yeah. Hey, it didn't burn me! Nice job! Poke it with a stick. Oh, hey, you have another move! Holy shit! Go! Charmander! Now, I was thinking it'd be neat if there is some kind of feature to where, depending on, like, how good you do in gym battles and stuff like that, that, like, lasses like her and other trainers would, like, actively become your fans. I lost, but I'm still excited in a whole new way. Okay, you know what? Grookey, you're gonna hold a f different item. You're getting a berry. What the fuck? Held item. Give an item. What do you want to move it to? What do you mean where I want to move it to? Fuck you! Put it away! Then just put it back in your bag. Yeah, I feel like it was more intuitive in other games. Huh. Was there other berries that like I gave you uh, more points? Why'd you use a potion? Because I'm dumb. I didn't think about it. Like, there's literally a Pokemon Center, like, you know, right down the street. At yep. least heal up fish lips. Okay. You know what's crazy? I thought there was a loading, gonna be a loading screen right there. Uh huh. But it, there's not. It's just straight into a route. I gotta say, the load times on this game are fantastic. Well, you know, it doesn't got much to load. Because they, they took out all those Pokemon. I would ask you to look up when the hell does Magikarp learn Tackle, because this is beginning to infuriate me. <laughs> I would, but, um... I'm filled with ungodly rage. You know, my phone's preoccupied at the moment. I understand. Wait! Drubbish? And you scared it off with your whistle. I scared it off with my sexuality. It was... Oh, holy shit! Ah! Ah, oh, fuck. You know, what I you almost forgot. I'm gonna participate in the gym challenge next year once I'm old enough. And who's that? Heel balls. Really wish those ah! poke balls had like other effects to them, or like continuous effects, so where as you walk around, it actively heals your Pokemon. Oh shit! A poison type. This is. Very bad. Why does everything hurt my poor little monkey boy? Which way are you facing? You can't avoid her. Boo! I'm studying foreign languages, computers, and Pokemon! Are you, like, reverse youngster? It's Hannah! Girl, go ape shit! Throw your poop at him. That's a poison type move. Is she like the equivalent of a picnicker? Perhaps so. 
because like um go oh, circumcise him with razor leaf yeah because it basically went uh preschooler pitnicker then like uh the uh the last don't forget tube girl oh yeah i absolutely forgot tube girl i keep forgetting Whoa. like the swimming archetypes what happened he used circle throw oh which i forgot was a thing you know what's funny? Ash lost an entire freaking bunch of Pokemon in a Pokemon League due to one bitch in his Riolu using Circle Throw. Oh. So they showed how Circle Throw works in the anime? Yeah. How does that work? Um, they... You know Ryu's throw in some games where he just grabs you and then rolls back onto his back and throws you behind him? Yeah. Yeah, it's that. Except it didn't make it. Ash's Pokemon go back. He just threw them into a wall. And they kept fucking fainting. Oh, he just kept one-shotting. Yeah, he kept one-shotting. Huh. With a Riolu. Pissing me off. I watched several of Ash's Pokemon lose to that thing and it just infuriated me. Feel it. Please don't circle throw like an asshole. <laughs> I. Okay, I see now what must be done. I'll heal him up. And I'll wait to get circle thrown back in. You just gotta ride the circle throw. That's what you gotta do, Eddie. You just gotta ride the circle throw. Don't you fucking tackle my Magikarp to death, you sick bitch. Hannah, I will ruin your life. I will follow you home. I will call you several names. I will call you a racist. Yeah, you're racist. You hate me. You hate Magikarp because he's gold and red. Racist. No, fuck you. Well, okay, I really need to waste another potion on right now. Splash! Splash harder than you've ever splashed in your life. Corp! That's right, bitch! You fell right into my trap! Trigger my trap! Fish lips, no! You whore. You utter whore. I'm gonna follow you home and I'm gonna call you mean names the entire way. Slut. Slut Hannah. Does this name mean anything to you? Probably not. But if I say it with enough disdain in my voice, you'll pick up that it's not a thing to aspire to. Fish slips didn't get anything. It's all your fault, Hannah. He doesn't know tackle because of you. I swear that I thought, what? I lost. My Pokemon wasn't sexy enough. That I like misinterpreted that. My Pokemon savvy wasn't enough. Thanks for your pocket change, bitch. All these zigzagoons just running around everywhere. I would pick them up for the possibility of them having pickup, the ability to uh, pick up items I could sell. Huh. That was very useful for me in uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, I believe it was. Or uh, Alpha Omega. Yeah, Alpha and Omega. Do the Galarian Zigzagoons have to up? That's a good question. One that I will never answer. Because I'm not going to catch them. So, what was I talking about a bit ago? Oh, Ash's uh, Pokemon losing to Riolu. Yeah, I believe that was in. Uh, not. Not Diamond and Pearl. Not X and Y. Oh, no, uh, do chat up, Slut Hannah. Yeah, of course. I shouldn't. I should find out even more about Pokemon to like. That way, I'll learn more about them. Like how if you lower your HP, they get easier to catch. Tutorial, 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 tutorial. Fair tips. You shouldn't have read this asshole. Pee pee poo poo. Ha ha. Try visiting people's camps. You'll find tents. I should camp, shouldn't I? Ah. Hmm. Well, I don't see no reason to. I already filled fully healed your Pokemon. This is true. I feel like that boy's gonna be a problem. I am. Oh, hey, Sonya. Hey, uh, Jim Challenger. You looked real ace out there during the opening ceremony. Ace? Oh, but where's Hawk? He went a different way. A way I can't follow. Well, you're rivals after all. I guess it makes sense you train on your own. Oh, I know. Let me tell you about something bit interesting. Interesting, you say? See that building over there? It's owned by Chairman Rose. I'm getting some Detective Pikachu vibes. 
just past Route 3, there's a mine where they dig up ore. That building processes it into energy. In other words, the chamber is responsible for providing Galar with its energy, too. And not electric type Pokemon, like you'd think. Can't say I really get him, but the chairman seems like a pretty brilliant guy, right? Here, a little something for having a chin wag with me. It's an escape rope. Bump on a log, toad on a frog, you know what I'm saying, oi? Key item? Use it to instantly escape locations like dungeons and caves. It can be used any number of times. Okay! I'll fill up your Pokemon. The way to turf field's pretty long, but that kind of, that's a challenge in its own right. Good luck, Jim Challenger. So they just made an escape rope, a key item, that uh, you can use over and over. So this whole, like, not training at oh, all? Wait a second, uh, the, uh, there's a shiny thing there. Oh, there is? Where? Yeah, like, uh, go down? Uh, no, I mean, left. Left okay. downwards, hug the wall, and there. Ooh. Okay. This whole not training... But wasn't there, like, another pathway to, to your right? What, what the fuck was that? Yeah, I was wondering that. So as you were complaining about your not training regiment? Yeah, my not training regiment. I'm starting to think it's not a great idea. Well, I you know I'm not against you not training. I'm just wondering why you're actively running away from stuff. Fuck. Because I was supposed to avoid things. I don't remember that being a thing established. Uh oh. I thought by showing that I wasn't gonna train that that was like yo. Know, is isn't training going out of your way to fight stuff? I suppose. So, yeah, like, I question why it was that you just ran away from everything. Do you mind if I catch this just to see? No, I don't mind. Because, I mean, if it I does mean, you're have you're swimming it, in Pokeballs. Right. Like, if it does have it, I might as well get it, right? Yep. Because that's one of the most useful abilities in Pokemon, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Which is why I would totally have a Zigzagoon if I was in the world of Pokemon. They're fucking useful. They're all right, but... Oh. Yeah. I mean, I guess if it worked on game mechanics. If it worked on anime mechanics, it'd be like, you know, they'd only pick up stuff that you'd probably be able to find anyway, honestly. I guess it would depend on what kind of business you, uh, you wanted to do. Like, if I wanted to make money, I would do, like, uh, training sessions with me out and have them practice payday all day. Obviously. If I... Oh, uh, let's so, see. Uh, Zigzagoon. Thought to be the oldest form of Zigzagoon, it moves in zigzags and wreaks havoc upon its surroundings. So they're claiming that this came before the Zigzagoon that we know? Apparently. Hmm. But yeah, like, um, if it was like, uh, I was like, I need some items that like I could probably sell and Meow's Payday ain't cutting it for me, I'd be going out with like a, an entire pack of dogs and just walking them around town. The thing before uh, Stoutland. Uh, Lillipop? Yeah. Like, uh, those things no pick up. I don't see any, uh... Well, check it. I was gonna say, uh, I don't see any path to the right, like you were saying. Let's huh? see. Pick up, yep. May pick up an item an opposing Pokemon used during a battle. It may pick up out items outside of battle. Okay, thank God. I say capture three more. <laughs> Now that's just more crew looking for more items for you, isn't it? It is a good point. We should probably make some progress first uh, before doing that. Yeah. Mm. Ah, fuck, fuck! Oh, instead of Pokemon. What? What'd he say? I found a trainer. Guess I'll have to check you out instead. It's Marvin, the schoolboy! Finally, something that's not super effective against ape shit. <laughs> you can literally actually possibly do this. Just scratch at him. But dudes, as far as I know, only know Absorb. Which, by the way, my brother was kind of pissed off at the fact that, uh, Sobble Sol gets Water Gun, Score Bunny gets Ember. You get a fucking new move. Stupid Grookey. Oh, really? You get your own move, Stick It Or To You? Yeah, po Stick Poke. You know, that wasn't in the game before. But the adders don't get something like that. Yeah, they get Water Gun and Ember. Huh. You're the only one to get something new. Uh, I guess because you're the only one that bothered to bring a weapon. I guess. I thought, like, oh, well, maybe there was no, like, low-level, like, grass-type move. But he's like, you know, yeah, there is, like, Razor Leaf. I'm like, Razor Leaf's fucking strong. What's wrong with you? Vine Whip? Vine Whip's actually pretty strong. 
But then eventually we both agreed that uh, there's Absorb. I know, I'd feel weird about, like, you know, the, the grass monkey going around using Absorb. Oh, it's called, uh, Gossip Floor? Apparently. Hmm, I'm gonna scratch its frickin' petals off. If you're ever to catch one, I would insist to call it Meredith. Okay. Kind of a strange term. This reminds me of uh, how the, one, the first legitimately shiny Pokemon I ever caught that wasn't the Red Gyarados was a Floet. Or a Flobaby. Hmm. And it was just out and about. It wasn't like chaining Pokemon or anything like that. I yeah. cannot remember what was the first shiny I ever caught. Ah, they have the experience gauge right there. Okay, that's what that is. I know they usually used to have that. I just, you know, didn't see it and didn't think about it. Ah, actually, you know what? This reminds me. Yeah. TMs. What about them? Okay. So, you know how uh, they're apparently bringing back that... Oh, wait. Yeah, it's your Pokemon are way too strong. That Goku confusion. <laughs> Losing is painful, so I'll raise my partner Pokemon too. Yeah, it's like, uh, here they have the TMs, but now they have TRs. What is that? I need to know. That's a roly coly. Really? Poke it with a stick. I don't know what that is. Poke it with a stick. Oh, that really fucked it. <laughs> right in the eye. It's only an eye. <laughs> it's perfect for stick poking. <laughs> one more. One more for Magikarp. One more for Magikarp. <laughs> poke him in the eye. Just fucking poke him in the eye. Right. So they brought back uh, breakable TMs. Just call them uh, TRs. records. Uh, TRs. Technical records. So I would think, oh, okay. They don't seem much different from TMs other than the fact they break. You know what would have made this more acceptable? Huh. If TRs were exactly like technical machines, but because they broke after one use, they only cost one tenth of the amount of a TM. Oh, okay, down. Ah! Down. <laughs> down. No! I'll show you what I carry! Letters! And victory! <laughs> Postman Ted and Tad. So now that deli bird in a great ball. Oh huh. god, it probably knows Peck and. Oh fuck, this is really bad for Ape Shit. Oh fuck, fuck, fuck. He knows. Growl at it, growl at it, growl at it, growl at it, growl, growl, growl. Make that Peck shit. Make the Peck shit. Present? Oh god, what are you doing? Ow. <laughs> okay. What but yeah, the gift? Like, it was TRs pain. should cost one tenth the amount of a TM considering their one-time use things, and it would make sense that TMs would be fairly expensive, because you have them forever. Which, speaking of which, uh, have you ever thought about how TMs were used? Uh, I did until I saw it in the manga. Oh, because I always had my theory of how TMs were used, was and it? I was thinking it just made the most sense to me ever. Uh-huh. Okay, so you know how TMs look like uh, CDs? Yeah, I didn't used to know that. But, but their sprite looked like a CD. If I, if I did know, I don't remember knowing it, but okay, yeah. Up until, like, recent, you know, like, Johto or Can uh, Hoenn. I think in Kanto, their sprites were even CDs. I didn't acknowledge it then. Hmm. Pokemon stick, I, I honestly know can't do. remember to say definitively. But, uh, you know, in my vague memories, that's what it's like. I always figured that, um... So, you know the way that Pokeballs look? Yes! Huh? Oh, random heal? Yeah. Okay. So the way that Pokeballs look, like large spheres with that uh, red button in the middle. Mm-hmm. Uh, not red button, just the button the in button. the middle. Yeah, the button in the middle. I always figured that the way it worked was that you took the CD and you placed it on top of the Pokeball using the uh, button in the middle as the stand. Oh, no, and it would spin? Yeah, like, it would spin, and the Pokeball would just kind of scan the CD. That's not bad. And since, like, the Pokeball contained the Pokemon... It, like, that's how I was able to teach the Pokemon the move. Right. Mm -hmm. like, that's not bad. Oh, thank you, thank you. As the final act of this, you healed me back to full. As if this whole di thing didn't even happen. <laughs> hmm. You know I got a fully evolved Delphox that has a uh, scratch attack on it still? <laughs> Why? I thought it would be funny. Ah. Yeah, I'm hoping that you keep uh, Poke on uh, 
you know, ape shit here oh, for yeah. like you know the final battle with Hop. Turns out it was carrying your victory. Piece of shit. Go die in a ditch while on fire. Nope, 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 nope. No, you ain't. <laughs> you stepped there right now, boy. <laughs> yeah, down there. Oh, it's down there. Yeah, but uh, there's a pathway that uh -huh. leads downwards because there's a TM. Oh, okay, you gotta fight her to get to the TM that's you... obviously past. Oh, wow, really? Oh, because she was looking to the right! And berries! Okay, yeah. So, yeah, you remember to deal with this. Like, you can shake for more berries, but if you get into a battle, they're all gonna go away. So, just, yeah, I say stuff. Just stop at one shake. I mean, I got like three berries out of that. I'm good. And today's TM is. Beat up. Well, you know, see if you can teach it a magic art. Uh, the user gets all party Pokemon to attack the target. The more party Pokemon, the greater the number of attacks. Man, you are just gonna swarm enemy Pokemon with your, like, zigzagoon herd. I can't learn it. No one can learn it. Huh. Man. Magic art can just learn Jack and all of stuff, huh? Hold on. Can you do it? Ah! Uh -huh. I kind of like how it looks like that. Uh, What's with this? One? It's glowing? Glowing red. Why? I thought maybe it'd be a shiny or something, but I feel like I heard that on the uh, overworld you cannot tell. Maybe it's just stronger. Oh, like it has a certain number of IVs to it that are just like abnormally strong. Well, not a single... I used stronger than branch poke attack, and it survived it. So, yeah, there's certainly something to it. Okay, you know what? I'm going to catch this. I'm just going to put it in the box. You can just press X. I can? It's like oh. right there. Nice, thanks. I've been waiting for that. Because I'm interested what this deal is. Is it another meteorite that fell here and came sentience? Why does that keep happening? First it was freaking Deoxys, then it just got worse. Snog grew. Roly coly! It can race around like a unicycle, even on rough, rocky terrain. Burning coal sustains it. It's 265 pounds! It'd be neat if you, like, you could get two of them and like use them like skates. <laughs> Oh god, Watts! That's what that was! Oh, okay. Uh, if they're carrying energy like that, not only are they stronger than normal Pokemon, they also, like, uh, have the Watt energy. What's your ability? Heatproof uh, halves the damage of any fire-type moves that hit it. It's also already a rock, so... Huh. Okay. What was that other thing? Hmm? Like, Dynamax level? Oh. What's that about? Uh, no clue. No clue. Alright. Well, uh, I say go check out that tent. Well, actually, we don't exactly have the time to be checking out that tent up there. Why? We're out of time. Uh oh. Okay, everybody. I love you. I just filled with thoughts and emotions. One must carry them gently. I thought I swear I, I misread gently as guilt. <laughs> as like one must, one of them must be guilty. I see. Are letters even an item in this game anymore? Uh, I believe. I don't know. I don't know about this item, but I mean, I know that there are all items. the dumb stuff that carried throughout the series. Letters was the one constant that confused me. Well, well, okay, but uh, well, so this episode. Hello, everybody. This episode brought to you by the Bagon Line. Believing allowed them to learn to fly, but it certainly didn't get them past customs. <laughs>